Hey, this is Professor Perez. Today we are going to look at some addition techniques using Kung Fu math. But before we get started, we need to get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's get started right there. Eight plus eight. Well, quite often I ask my students, hey, how do you add eight plus eight? And surprisingly, I get all these different answers because people have their own, what we call Kung Fu math technique. So let's talk about that first. Now, Charlie, let's take eight plus eight. And what is eight plus eight, by the way, Charlie? 16. It is 16. Now, what some people do is when they do eight plus eight, they say, okay, I have eight and now I'm going to add 10 because it's easy for them. Eight plus 10 is 18. And then they realize they've gone too, too far. So they come back to, and that's how they get their answer of 16. Notice eight in the red over here is equal to 10 subtract two in the red in that second problem, but that's their Kung Fu. Now, some people, when they do eight plus eight, they enter the eight and then they like to go to the 10 because it's easy. It's like safe there. So they add two more and they say, I'm at 10, I'm gonna take a break. Whew. Now, they know they have to go six more because eight take away the two they've already added, leaves them over with six. And so when they add the six more, they do get 16 and that's their Kung Fu. Now remember, you can't start Kung fu -ing until you know what you're doing. Otherwise you're gonna get beat up like him. What? All right, anyway, let's look at this problem here, Charlie. Now, we were talking about the commutative properties and associative properties for addition in the last lecture. And that showed us that whenever you have all these numbers being added, you can basically add in any order. So here's where we're gonna use our Kung Fu to help us out. Well, three plus six plus seven plus four. Let's first do it working left to right. So let's enter three and let's add six. And that takes us to nine. And let's bring down our work. And now we're gonna add seven. That takes us to 16. Let's bring down our work and now we add the four. That takes us to 20. There you go. Now let's bust out some Kung Fu on this. Watch this, Charlie. Now, because the numbers are being added, we can go in any order. So Charlie, what's three plus seven? 10. And what's six plus four? 10. And what's 10 plus 10? 20. That's right, that's a good Kung Fu right there. <laughs> All right, Charlie, let's do another one. What's two plus eight? 10. Very nice, what's seven plus three? 10. And 10 plus 10? 20. 20. Very nice there, Charlie, okay. Now let's try another one, don't get scared. Here we go, Charlie. What's five plus five? 10. Six plus four? 10. Seven plus three? 10. And what's 10 plus 10 plus 10? 30. 30, very nice there, Charlie, okay. Yes, the numbers don't always add up to 10, but we're just trying to demonstrate the technique here, right? Okay, Charlie, don't get scared now. Watch, I'm gonna help you out with this. We have all these numbers being added. We're gonna go out of order, and let's do 15 plus five. What is it, Charlie? 20. Very nice. What's six plus 14? 20. And what's seven plus three? Ten. That's right. And what's 20 plus 20 plus 10? 50. Very nice there, Charlie. That's right. Okay. Now, yes, the numbers don't always add up to a 10. So, you just have to search. Now, watch this, Charlie. What's 3 plus 4 plus 13? 20. Very nice there, Charlie. That is 20, right? Now, we can't add any of the other two numbers and get a nice number, but we know that 11 plus 8 is close to 20, but it's only 19, so we'll do that, and we'll leave the 3 for last. Now watch this, Charlie. 20 plus 19 is 39. We bring down our work, and 39 plus 3 is 42, and that is our answer. That's some good Kung Fu right there. So anyway, remember, you can't start Kung Fuing until you know what you're doing, otherwise you're going to get beat up. We'll see you again soon.